What is up, everybody? So I was just walking around the park just now, just kind of minding my own business, walking around the park, getting sunburned, the kind of normal stuff that you would do in Oregon. Okay, I'm not doing anything particularly controversial, so I thought. But then I had this great idea of launching a poll on Twitter of who people would vote for, very innocently, just options. I launched the first poll was Biden, Trump, right in so like write in Bernie Sanders and not voting. Those were the options because I figured those would be the most popular options. But I could not avoid controversy because of the fact that normally with polls in, in this type of sense, because right now I, I think I have like 29,000 followers or something like that. Normally, if you get like 100 or 200 you know votes, then that's a pretty decent poll. Well, this one got a little bit more serious than I thought. And I'm talking to you guys in real time as the poll's going on right now. It ended up having about a, a person a second voting. So out of nowhere, I just check and there was 2,000, yeah, 2,000 votes so far and hundreds of comments. And so naturally, I was like, wait, what is everybody commenting? And then I got like messages and DMs where people are like, you fascist piece of shit. You forgot the, th you forgot the third party. And I was like, oh shit. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, I'm gonna get in a lot of trouble for that one. I forgot third party. I put right in as opposed to third party because I thought right in would be more popular than third party. And so then I started getting yelled at. And so I said, okay, if there's enough people commenting, because I was trying to accommodate everybody, if there's enough people commenting saying third party, I'll redo the poll. And so as they're commenting this, I also had this realization, wait, if everybody's taking this seriously and we're seeing who's going to be voting Biden, Trump, a write-in, you know, not voting. That's from my personal base. And so obviously it's going to be biased. But as they're retweeting this more and more and more, and then the, the base is widening up to different varieties of people, I realized, well, wait a second here. Trump has 5% of the vote, the last I checked, and that's not including the Make America Great Again people. That's just from the left. So then naturally, I was like, okay, I'm going to accommodate them as well. And so I tag Make America Great Again into the poll after it had about 2,000 polls. So then naturally, <laughs> that went crazy. From the time I started filming this to now, so I was like, started, turned on the camera, prepped a little bit, started talking. From that little like two-minute marker, 2,000 more votes came in. So there's 4,000 last I checked. There's probably 5,000. Trump was in the lead. He had about 45% of the vote. Biden had about 28% of the vote since the Make America Great Again people started jumping in. So then I was like, okay, well, shit, I didn't add third party. So I'm going to redo the poll and I'm going to add a third party option in order to accommodate everybody. So then I add the third party. So it was Biden, Trump, third party slash write in or not voting. That's it. Okay. There accommodating everybody. And then I tag make America great again, of course, because I'm like, you know what, let's, let's have a real discussion about this. Let's see how many people want to participate. And then I think it's, I just launched that. I think it was probably about 15 minutes ago. And I think there's about a thousand people so far who are participating. Trump is winning that as well at about 40, 45%. And please don't take this out on me by downvoting this video. Okay. I'm smiling because of how ridiculous my thought was that this would be lighthearted. Like, oh yeah, let's just see, just nonchalantly. No, there was no chill in this. And I should have known that, to be fair. I should have known that. This is a very intense moment in history, and there's a lot of people not voting, and there's a lot of people going for Biden, but also a lot of people that are also going third party. Trump has kind of solidified his base, so it's like, okay, is Biden going to be able to wrap up everybody else? Yes or no? And so there's a lot of dialogue going on nowadays. And I realized that I had in that poll maybe a little bit more say into that than I thought. Anyway, guys, moral of the story, you can't accommodate everybody. Sorry, the end.